today that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Y'all go ahead and erupt in praise. It's all about praise this morning. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I don't know what you come to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We thank all of you. Amen. As we, we have now gone live. So first we say thanks to all who are in our midst in the sanctuary this Amen. morning. Amen. We have a special guest that, that snuck up on us this morning. Amen. We have a special guest and none, none other than our presiding elder, the greatest presiding elder. Amen. Amen. Presiding elder Wanda London. And we are so grateful to have you in our midst today. And we're so grateful to have all of you. Give yourself a hand of praise. Amen. 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 Elder, Elder, I walked in and I only heard two words from Sunday school, and that was, you got to trust God and show up. Yes. Yes. I told you, I just might change my sermon for the day, because that's all we need. Trust God and show up. Amen. Amen. And we thank y'all for trusting God Amen. and showing up. Amen. We praise the Lord for all of you who are coming on by way of streaming media. And we would ask, amen, that you would share this feed, whether on Facebook, whether on YouTube. Share this feed, amen. Call somebody up. Send smoke signals. Do whatever you got to do. Let them know that it is game time, amen. And we praise God for his presence in this place even now, amen. What we're going to do, we're going to have our, um, our doxology. Immediately following our doxology, we will have our call to worship, amen. amen. Praise amen. God from whom all blessings flow. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the earth sings his praises. Amen. We will continue to sing him the praise by lifting up nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. Nor the fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. What can? What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me? What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh precious is the blood that Oh, 
like you, we thank you, Father, Father, for all that you've done for yes. us. Oh, Heavenly Father, forgive us for anything that we have done, anything that we have said. Oh, God, forgive us for anything that we have thought about. Yeah, God. God. Forgive us. It wasn't pleasing to you, Heavenly yeah, Father. Forgive us, Lord. Cleanse us, Father. Please give us another chance yeah, to God. do your will. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask right now that you would touch and heal those that are sick, Heavenly Father. Yes, touch and heal them right now, yes, Heavenly God. Father. Oh, go to the hospitals, Heavenly Father. Yes. Nursing homes. Yes. Mental institutions, yes, Heavenly God. Father. Yes. Go to the rehab centers, yes, Heavenly God. Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to touch and heal them right now, Heavenly Father. We ask for a special blessing right now, Heavenly Father, for you to touch us. Sister Regina, Heavenly Father, right touch, 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 touch um, MIT, Cheryl, Heavenly Father, oh, touch our First Lady, Heavenly Father, yes. our pastor, yes. Heavenly Father, yes. oh, Heavenly yes. Father, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Brother, touch Brother Garfield, yes. Heavenly Father, yes. 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 oh, yes. Heavenly yes. Father, touch everybody yes. Yes. that is on our prayer list, yes. Heavenly yes. Father, yes. touch and heal them, Heavenly Father, right now, God, Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you and we pray, Heavenly Father. We ask you to go and touch those that are mourning right now, Heavenly Father. Oh, give them strength, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, give them comfort, Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, we ask right now that you would continue to comfort the Williams family, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, comfort the Ford family right now, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Heavenly Father. We ask you, Heavenly Father, right, right now, that you will come into this place, Heavenly yes, Father. Have your way in this place, Heavenly Father. Way, Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless the chief of this place. Yes, God. Bless our pastor, yes, Reverend please, Lord. Michael Hudson. Please, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes. Touch him, Heavenly Father. Let him bring a word today, Heavenly Father, that will help us along the way, Heavenly yes, Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to also touch the First Lady, Heavenly yes, Father. Oh, Please, Heavenly Father, Please, give her strength to be yes, the armor bearer to help him and to, yes, to encourage him, Heavenly Father, yes, and the First Family, Heavenly yes, Father. Bless them also, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless Gethsemane. Bless African, us, Lord. Matthew, we need you, God. We church. need you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. oh, bless everyone from the door to the pulpit, Heavenly yes. Father. Oh, bless everybody that's associated with us, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, we thank you and we thank praise you. your holy thank name, you. Heavenly thank Father. You. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask you to come into this place and have your have way, your way, Lord. Have your way Lord. Lord. We enter this have place your with thanksgiving. Yes. Oh, God, we are thankful. Yes. Thank yes. you, Heavenly Father. Yes. Oh, we enter yes. to the courts with praises. Yes. Yes. Oh, the praises come to you. You're so yes. 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 come to you. You're so yes. 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 We thank you and we thank you, Holy Come on, sing it one time. Thank you. Just to wake me up this morning, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you clothed me in my right mind. Thank you. Thank you,
Our scripture this morning comes from the book of John, chapter 8, verses 31 through 36, and it reads as such. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you really are my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. All together? So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Amen. And I have a lesson to you in all ways. Thank God for his word this yes. morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. While you're still standing, we're going to ask Mother Vanessa to come and lead us in our decalogue. Let's give her a hand of praise. Amen. 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 Come. Amen. 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 guests in the house. First, Mother Vanessa did bring yes. a guest with her this morning. Amen. Who, who did you bring with you this morning, Mother Vanessa? This is my cousin, um, Gloria Woodall. Okay. She's from the Eastern Shore, the Great Eastern Shore. Amen. Amen. Well, welcome. Amen. Welcome. Sister Gloria, we're so happy you're here. And also we have our wonderful elder, Elder Wanda London, who is here with us this morning, joining us for service this morning. Y'all know this is, she's Black History Walking, right? That's right. Black yeah. History yeah. Walking in the AME yeah. Church. Yeah. And Women's History. So we're combining two this morning. Yeah. So yes. Thank you for joining us this morning. We're so happy to see you. Thank you everyone who was here in the house this morning. All of our mothers are here this morning. Uh, looking so lovely. Yeah. 
Amazing. First lady, everyone is here. I want to acknowledge those of you who are watching us on streaming uh, Gethsemane page. And first is uh, Sister Audra Batson, watching us all the way from Atlanta. She says, blessed first Sunday to all. May all of you flourish in God's love this week. That's right. Amen. Flourish in God's love yeah, this week. Amen. Sister Wanda Preston says, good morning. Let's rejoice in the name of the Lord. Amen. We are rejoicing in the name of the Lord this morning. Amen. We have Mother Ruth, uh, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Mother Elizabeth English, watching us in-house and on Facebook. She says, good morning, Game Nation and friends. This is the day that the Lord has yes. made. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. Yes, Glory. We have Sister Janetta watching us on Facebook. She says, good morning and happy Sunday. May God be the glory this morning. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Next up, Sister Marguerite Richardson, who just prayed us into glory this amen. morning. Yes, yes. She says, good morning, gang, family, and friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. May amen. God bless you. And may God bless you as well. Brother Sean Batson, again, watching from Atlanta. He says, good morning, gang family. God is good all the time. All the time, all the time God is good. That's right. Yes. Sister Michelle Butler says, good morning, gang family and friends. How great is our God? Yes. Thank you, God, for all you've done and praising you for what you're going to do in our lives. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for that Hallelujah. message. And we have our first lady who always gives us a, a word to take with us for the week. She says, good morning. It's game time. Thank you for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made us rejoice and be thankful, grateful, and blessed in it. So, so shout, dance, and praise his oh, holy name. Right. May you have an awesome and blessed day and week. Amen and hallelujah. Amen. Welcome, everyone. Amen. Again, we thank and praise all of you who have joined us today. Amen. Now we're going to ask Mother Ruth to come, and she's going to lead us in the week of our communion. Let me, may we all stand and may she come. Good morning. Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Praise, praise the Lord. The Lord. As we come to the Lord's table, let us come with a spirit of humility and penitence. Compassion, God, have mercy on us, we pray. Let us examine ourselves, our thoughts, our actions, our motive, and our attitude towards others. O Holy God, have mercy and forgive us our shortcomings. Help us to remember our responsibilities to our families and to our neighbors our stewardship to you, and the work you have given to our hands. O living God, we stand in need of your great strength and mercy. As we eat the bread, which represents the body, which is the true and living bread, open our eyes to recognize the intimacy that you yearn to share with us. O living God, teach us to love you above all else. As we drink the cup, which represents Christ's blood, shed for us, we thank you for a new covenant. Love ye one another, which is written in our hearts. Let us rejoice, because our names are written in heaven. Tender Father, may your great sacrifice of redeeming love renew us for loving service and sacrifice for others. May this Lord's Supper energize every area of our lives and enable us to transcend our circumstances, our inadequacies, and our enemies. We praise you, O God, who made us your own people through the death and resurrection of your Son. All together, abide in us, Savior and Redeemer. Fill us with the life-giving power of your Spirit, now and forever. Hallelujah and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me let me do this. I don't want y'all to think that I, I operate out of order. Just give me one second, uh, Mr. Michelle. Okay. I have to do this. I already know what the answer is going to be, but I have to do this so, so y'all don't think that I operate uh, indecently. Elder, Elder, if you want to come into the pulpit, you can. Amen. Amen. 
See, I already know it. But I just wanted y'all to know that I, I know how to operate in decency and in order. But I, I know my elder. Amen. So come on, Minister Michelle. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Put your hands together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise in this place. How many glad to be in worship today? Amen. 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 Well, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. We give God thanks and pay praise for our heritage and our culture. And I asked them um, to come for a couple of minutes just to acknowledge a few pieces of black history, amen? amen. First of all, we have our Disciplines and Doctrine book amen. that is a great part of the African American Episcopal tradition, amen. amen? There are tons of historical facts in this book. And so if you're interested, we can we always have a copy of the disciplines in the house. Amen. amen. And then amen. secondly, secondly, Mother Marguerite was so gracious to bring a part of her own history. Amen. This is a book about her family. Amen. Wow. amen. And so amen. Come on and give God some praise. Amen. 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 So if, if you have things that you would like to share with the congregation, we would um, we would ask that you would bring those things to church throughout the month of Black History Month so that we can share with one another, amen. amen. So on behalf of Pastor Hudson um, and First Lady Sherry, we would like to thank you all for um, continuing to support the Christian Education Department here at Gethsemane African Methodist Episcopal Church, amen. amen. Thank you for your attention. Amen, amen, amen. amen. let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. Hallelujah, and, and since we're since we are since we're on that uh, Black History Month, um, we praise the Lord as we celebrate Black History Month. And just this morning, the Lord was just dealing with me. Amen. Now I have no clue who preaching next week. That's up to y'all. Uh, they always doing something because you, you'll find out, uh, Elder. Anyway, but the last Sunday, the last Sunday, I was looking at the last Sunday and um, seeing who we could get to come and bring a word for us on the last Sunday. And, you know, Holy Spirit said, I have somebody for you. Um, I think it's the oldest member of Gethsemane who stands watch at the back. Amen. None other than Brother Garfield. Johnny Hudson. Amen. And so y'all pray for him. Amen. Because this is the first he heard of it. Amen. So pray. Y'all know how y'all pass it, dude. Pray for him. Amen. As as the Spirit leads him to what it is that the Spirit wants him to say. Is that all right? Amen. 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 It's giving time in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, we, we praise God when it's time to give. Because we understand we don't have everything we have is because God has been good to us. God is faithful to us. Amen. And so as we come to give, we praise God for what it is God has already done. Amen. Those of you who are watching by way of streaming media, amen, there are so many ways you can give. If you have Cash App, it's dollar sign, Gethsemane AME. If you have Give Lafay, search for Gethsemane AME Church, you will see the church's logo there. If you have PayPal, search for Gethsemane AME Church Baltimore, you will see the church's logo there. Whew. If you have Zelle, search for... <laughs> Look for uh, Gethsemane AMEC, the church's email, Gethsemane AMEC at gmail.com. If you want to put checks on money orders, amen, in the mail, they can be mailed to Gethsemane AME Church, Post Office Box 1103, Randallstown, Maryland, 21133, amen. amen. Those are all the ways that you can give. Again, we are grateful for every gift. We're grateful for every giver, amen. And we're so thankful for all of you, amen. And so after the uh, ushers have collected our offerings, we will stand and bless the offering. Amen.
Hey Amen. Let us sing it. All things come of thee, O oh Lord, and of thine own have we given thee, God. We are grateful, grateful, God, for how you continue to bless us. And no, we're not deserving, God, but your mercy and your grace, you continue to bless us, God. God, we ask now, God, as we come to give of our tithes, of our offerings, we pray that what we give will be pleasing in your sight. God, open up the window of heaven and pour out a blessing where we won't have room enough to receive it. God, that we can continue to be a blessing for those who are less fortunate than we are. We give you praise, honor, and glory. And it's in the name of Jesus that we pray and say amen, 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 amen. 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 It's preaching time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's preaching time. Amen. And I was so happy that presiding elder walked in the door. <laughs> She laughed. <laughs> she laughed. Amen. We're going to have the uh, choir to come now and give us a sermonic selection. Amen. Amen. Let's give them a hand of praise as they come.
Hallelujah. 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 Those of you who know the Lord is worthy. Come on, give him praise. Give him glory. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. He is Alpha. He is Omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is my everything. And he is worthy. He is, he is, he is worthy. 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 Hallelujah. Now, now, now. I, I purposely, I purposely, I purposely, Reverend Candace, had a one page sermon. Did y'all hear what I said? I said, uh, I purposely had a one page sermon. Yes, um, yes. And if you didn't know, my sermons are around seven to eight pages. Oh, I don't hear nobody shout. But I purposely today have a, a, a one and a half page. Let, let me let me tell the truth. A one and a half page sermon. A one and a half page. Thank you. I, I, I thank you. I need your help this morning. The word of God. The word of God that can be found, and that was read already. John the eighth chapter, verse 31 through 36 says to the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, if, one of the biggest words in the dictionary, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Yes, yes. Then, if, then, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I started to stop there. But I'm going to keep reading. Uh -huh. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. Yes. All right. So how can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Mm -hmm. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family but a son, somebody says, but a son. But a, son. a son belongs to it forever. So, verse 36. Mm -hmm. So, if the son sets you free, yes. Yes. you will be free yes. indeed. Yes. I just came to preach in these yes. few moments. Thank God I'm free. Thank God. Thank God. Y'all didn't feel it. Thank God I'm free. Thank God I'm free. No longer bound, no chains, no shackles holding me. But thank God when I came in this morning, I was free. Hallelujah. When I leave this place, I will be free. Thank God. I'm free. I could get a benediction, but but as we come to this first Sunday in February, the first worship service of Black History Month, we have no choice. We should have no choice but to give God praise and honor and glory for the great things he has done for us and people of African descent. Can I say that again? We, we have no choice but to give God praise, honor, and glory for the great things that he has done for the people 
of African descent. That's us, y'all. That's us. Just thinking about, think about how our ancestors were treated as they were stolen from the rich soil of the continent of Africa and brought to the Americas to work the land and bring the land owners wealth. Yet they were able to endure it all. It gives me reason. It gives us reason and purpose to praise the God. To praise God. I mean purposefully. We should purposely praise God for where God has brought us from. He brought us from a mighty, a mighty long way. And I just came here this morning to thank God for setting me free. It's because it's because of the work that God has done where I can stand here and declare the works of God to you this morning. It's because God has done great things for you and for me. Do you understand all the things that they went through? They went through things, our ancestors, so that you and I wouldn't have to experience the same things. They endured hardship so that you and I wouldn't have to endure hardship. They experienced the brutality of slavery. And after that, Jim Crow, so that you and I wouldn't have to do it, even though we still see semblances of it, we're not where we used to be. Somebody ought to give God praise when we come here in this Black History Month with your Black African American self. Give God praise because you understand that we serve a God, hallelujah, who will look down on those who have been subjugated by the world and will lift them up. Thank God for lifting us up from the pit that we used to be in and now taking us to palaces that we never thought we would ever be in. Hallelujah. 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 I come this morning, y'all, just to thank God that I'm free. But you've got to understand that being free is so much more than just being physically free. You can be free physically, y'all, but mentally and spiritually, you can still be enslaved. And, and this is what this is really what is going on in our text today. And our text was written by the beloved apostle John, the one who stayed by Jesus' side even until the end, while the other apostles and disciples scattered. He was the one who had such a close relationship with Jesus that Jesus told John, instead of telling Jesus his own brothers, he told John, son, behold your mother. Yeah, yeah, now that's closeness right there. Yeah, yeah. That's closeness right there. I'm not going to be before you. I'm already halfway done. Uh, the text says, and I want you to look at the text. The text says, and this is who Jesus is talking to. He says, to the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. In other words, y'all, we have to be under some teaching of God. We've got to not only believe the word of God, we've got to trust the word of God. Thank you, Minister Michelle. We also have to walk according to to the word of God. He said, you've got to continue in this thing. This is not a one and done thing. You might have done wrong yesterday, but you can get it right today. Hallelujah. All you got to do is follow what it is that Jesus taught the disciples. Follow what is written in the word of God. And he says, you will be my disciples. You're really my disciples if you follow what it is that I have taught. And so he's speaking to the Jews, y'all. That's what's so funny. He's speaking to the Jews, and he said, it's the Jews that believed him. Uh -huh. Now stick with me. The Jews that believed him, Jesus said, if you really are my disciples, you're going to obey what it is that I say. And so we see we've got to obey what it is that the word of God says. But not only that, y'all, look, look, look at the, uh, uh, verse 32. He says, then you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Now, this is important because all truth that people tell you ain't really truth. Right. You've got to understand, and I'm so glad the Holy Spirit has us uh, uh, talking about spiritual matters and Bible study because we understand that when the Spirit came, the Spirit came to teach us all truth. Yes. It's, it's so much untruth going on in churches today, hallelujah, that I give God praise that we are filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that teaches us the truth. And when we hear something fishy, hallelujah, we know it's not the truth. We know it's not the Spirit of God. But thank God for His Spirit that's in this place that teaches us what the real truth is. We've got to understand that there are many who want to have people in positions so that they can soothe their itching ears. Uh, 
See, now see, I'm trying to be nice. I got Elder in the house today. But some people only want to hear what it is that they want to hear so that they can stay in their mess. Oh, you preaching, you preaching this morning. You preaching this morning. Hallelujah. But I have come to preach the truth. God has sent me here to preach the truth. And the truth is Jesus came to save a sin-sick world. To save a sin-sick world. You see, we, we don't wrestle. We don't wrestle with physical enslavement now. What we wrestle with is a, a, a mentality. We wrestle with a mentality. A mentality that says we can conform to everything that the world conforms to. But Paul told me in Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 2, do not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Thank you for preaching that on last week, Minister Michelle. We've got to have a renewed mind that we can walk in the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, tell the, tell the truth. Tell the truth. And so we, we've got to understand what it is about the truth because the truth is the thing that sets us free. We, we, we were walking around trying to do everything that the world does, trying to wear our pants the same way that the world does, trying to go the same places that the world does, trying to tiptoe in this club and tiptoe to this party. But I believe God said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Then you will know the truth. And it's the truth that will set you free. Somebody shout, thank God, I'm free. Thank God, I'm free. But listen to the response. And this response is, it's what but really had me interested in this text. These are the Jews who believed him. Remember that. They answered him. We are Abraham's descendants and we have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Let me deal with this. We are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. I immediately went to the celebration of the Passover. Do you not know the things that generations before you had to experience before you can walk up in Jesus' face and say, we ain't never been slaves before? Do you not know your past? It's like they just ignored the things that their ancestors had to go through, and now that they don't have to go through, they can shun their nose and say, I ain't never been a slave to anybody. How can we, black with our black and brown skin, come in this place and act like we are all high and so giddy, not remember that we stand on the shoulders of our foreparents who had to work from sun up to sun down, picking things that they did not want to pick, and, and, and just serving masters who were mean and nasty and brutal, but yet they made it through it. The Lord saw them through that. That's a testimony. How are you going to say because you are Abraham's seed that you ain't never been a slave? What I'm trying to tell you, if you missed the point, do not discourage your past. Don't forget where you come from. Because you and I are here only because of our ancestors. If Big Mama had never got on her knees after being whipped by the slave master, if she never got on her knees and said, Lord, bless my grandchildren that's going to come behind me. God bless my grandchildren. Bless my great-grandchildren. Bless my seed who's going to come after me that they won't have to go through a thing the same things that I'm experiencing now. Somebody who knows that you're not here because you are so good ought to stand up and give God praise. Give God praise and glory for our ancestors. Hallelujah. That made it through the middle passes. That made it through whippings. That made it through this and that. And now we're here because of them. We're here because of them. Don't forget your past, y'all. 
But don't yeah. forget what brought us thus far. Yeah. It was our ancestors. Our ancestors were strong. And now when the wind blows, Lord have mercy, I'm about to get myself in trouble. Now when, when there's a slight wind blowing, uh, uh, I can't make it. Oh. My throat getting dry. Too. I'm not talking about nobody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wind, wind blow. Wind blow. Yeah. I know what that finger means. That means see you next week. When, when, when our ancestors, y'all, worked in the field from sunup to sundown, but then they, they couldn't worship out in public. They had to run into the woods and hide and worship the Lord. And now you're telling me uh, we, we got cars and vehicles and everything. Even if it's raining, we won't get wet because the cars and vehicles will take us to the place of worship. But because it's raining or even some snow falling or... <laughs> They answered him and said, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? And Jesus replied, verily I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. And he breaks it down. He says, a slave really don't have no rights, if y'all don't know that. He says, a slave has no permanent place in the family. Meaning they can't come and go as they want to. They can't have the great things that, that members of the family have. But he says, but a son belongs to it forever. A son can walk up whatever time he wants to. Not in Ruth and uh, Sonny's house. But whatever time they want to, uh, a son can walk in and walk out. Hallelujah, somebody. And verse 36 says, so if the son, and this is where my shout lies, if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Uh -huh. You've got to understand the only reason that you and I can do what it is that we do from day in to day out is because the Lord Jesus has set us free. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Sin doesn't control us prayerfully. Sin doesn't control us the way that it used to be because when we surrender, Jesus said, if you will follow my teachings, you will really be my disciple. And when you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, sin can no longer keep you bound. Devil, you might have tried it on yesterday, but because the Lord allowed me to open my eyes, I'm going to walk in freedom on today. Thank God I'm free. I'm free because the Son is the one who set me free. Who is the Son that you're talking about? I'm so glad you asked me. John writes about the Son. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's the Son I'm talking about. It's the Son, Jesus said in John 3 and 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that anyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Anybody know about the Son that I'm talking about? It's the Son, hallelujah, who did no sin, committed no sin, but went to Calvary's cross for you and I who did everything we thought we were big and bad enough to do. Anybody know who I'm talking about? Go ahead and shout his name. Shout his name again. Shout his name again. It was Jesus, the one who went to courthouse, to courthouse, and when they had a chance to free him, they said, no, free that other joker, but hang him on the cross. That's the son I'm talking about, the one who was stretched wide, hallelujah, who was stretched wide and hung his head low, who said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. That's the one, the one who was sent and buried in a borrowed tomb, yeah. that's the son I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. But it's also the yeah. son, hallelujah, yeah. who on the third day yeah. got up with all power yeah. in his hand. Yeah. And because God got up with all power in his hand, yeah. hallelujah, the grave couldn't keep him a slave. Yeah. Oh, y'all missed that? Yeah. The grave couldn't keep him a slave. Yeah. But he got up free. Yeah. 
And because he got up free, he said, anybody that believes in the Son, you shall be set free. And you shall be free indeed. That means no ifs, no ands, no buts about it. There is nothing anybody can do to enslave you. When the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. My question is, is anybody in this house free? Has anybody in this house received your freedom papers? I don't see nobody. Has anybody in the house received your freedom papers? Will you give God praise? Will you give God glory? Hold your head back and say, thank God, I'm free. Thank God, I'm free. Thank God, I'm not just talking about the physical part. Thank God, he freed my mind. Hallelujah. So many things try to invade our mind. Uh -huh. We studied the battlefield of the mind by Joyce Myers. That's, uh -huh. that's, that's the battlefield yeah. is the mind. But thank God thank he God. has freed my mind. Yeah. Thank God he doesn't hold the count for the things I did on yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, there, there's room for you to run. Somebody should have ran on that one. Thank God. He has thrown my sins into the sea of forgiveness. Thank God I'm free. Thank God. On this first Sunday of Black History Month, I thank God I'm free. Come on, give him praise in the house. Hallelujah. Thank God. But look, I got my freedom people. Back in the day, you couldn't walk around as a black man without some papers saying that you have been free. And even then, they still would get you. But when the sun sets you free, <laughs> you are free indeed. Thank God I'm free. Amen. We're all standing at this time. Hallelujah. I want to open up the doors of the church for somebody who is still enslaved. Yeah, you might be physically free, but deep inside, you know you are still a a slave to sin. But God has the power to break those shackles. To break, that's the song, break every chain. He has the power to break every chain. Hallelujah. And if this is you, you've never given your life to Jesus Christ. Now is your opportunity. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. This is a self-examination. You know where you stand at. You, you know your position. You know if you have a relationship with Jesus the Christ. Now is your opportunity. Here is Jesus with his arms wide open saying, come unto me. Come unto me. Hallelujah. Will you come? Will you come? If you're watching my line, simply say these, this prayer. Lord God, I know I have sinned against you. I've done what is wrong according to your word. Yes, God. God, I am heartily sorry. I repent of those sins. Forgive me, God. I believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe he was dead and buried, but on the third day he rose with all power in his hand. I also believe he ascended to the right hand of the throne of God. And I also believe he's coming back. Coming back for a church which is the body of Christ. And I want to be a part of the body. Receive me now, God, as a child of God. Fill me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes, this is my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray and say amen. 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 If this is your first time saying that prayer, if you're in the house, just lift your hand so I can acknowledge you. Those of you who are watching by way of Facebook or YouTube, simply write in the comments, saved, S-A-V-E-D. And what we're going to do, we're going to thank God that you are free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're going to thank God that you are now free. Amen. There's plenty of good room here at the Semi African Methodist Episcopal Church. Yeah. And so if you don't have a church home of your own, I'm not trying to take nobody's members. If you don't have a church home of your own, Hallelujah. Come and join us. Come and join us as the Lord is taking us higher. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's taking us higher yeah. in the vicinity. Yeah. God is blessing yeah. us, y'all. God is blessing yeah. us. Yeah. So if you want to be part of Gang Nation, yeah. 
Certainly write in the comments, member, M-E-M-B-E-R. If you're here and you want to be a part, just lift your hand so I can acknowledge you. Amen. If there Amen. is one. If there is one. Amen. You may be seated. Let's give the Lord another hand of praise. Thank God for his word on today. We're going to ask First Lady to come now and to give us uh, the announcements for today. Let's receive her with a hearty amen. 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 communion service. You can join us on Zoom. Um, Brother Larry should have the information uh, going across the screen at this time. Thank you. Um, if you don't have your elements, God knows your heart. Get you a cracker, a piece of bread, and some water or some juice, and just join us uh, for communion. Amen. 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 And then on Tuesday, Tuesday night at 6 p.m. is our Bible study. Uh, we ask that you join us on Bible study. We have an awesome, awesome time in Bible study. Amen. 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 And then Wednesday at noonday, y'all know what time it is, noonday prayer. Amen. We ask that you post your request in the comment section or send your request to GethsemaneAMEC at gmail.com. Like I always say, if you have my phone number, you can call me, you can text me to get your uh, prayer requests in. But if you cannot do any of those, you can always pray for yourself. Amen. You can always talk to God for yourself. God Amen. listens to you just like he listens to us. Amen. And while you are praying, please continue to pray for Gethsemane. Amen. 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 Um, if anyone wants to join the lay organization, we ask that you see Mother Marguerite or Mother Vanessa. Amen. 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 And then uh, please pray for a pastor and myself as we travel to Greensboro, North Carolina for the Mid-Winter Conference. Amen. And then the scripture for the week. Mm -hmm. My scripture for the week is Matthew 5 and 14. You are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stop right there. You are the light of the world. Amen. Amen. And that is the King James Version. The message, I love the way the message put it. Here's another way to put it. You are here to be light. Mm -hmm. Bringing out the God colors in the world. All right. You are here to be the light. We are followers of Jesus, so Jesus is the light of the world. Yeah. So Amen. we it's just telling us just to spread God's love. Spread God love through the word. Spread God love through your actions. Amen. Just spread God love. That's Amen. all it's saying. Amen. 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 That is the announcement for this week. I'm going to turn it back over to the hands of the pastor. May you all have Amen. a wonderful and blessed and awesome week. Amen. 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 Thank you, First Lady. Thank you, David. Before we close, uh, Elder, would you like to say a word? Amen. <laughs> Let's give it out, presiding Abba, and have a pray. God bless you, Abba. God bless you. Hallelujah. Gethsemane. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yeah. And God's praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. Anybody need to brag about all of God? And the humble shall hear the rubble and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt God's name together. I just came to magnify the Lord. And I'm blessed that I had experienced great worship and an awesome word for today. Amen. And anybody ready to go serve the Lord no more? Amen. And be the light that you're supposed to be. God bless you and may God keep you. And I'm guessing many of you are still praying for you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, give our eyes a hand. Amen. Again, we thank you. We praise you. And again, immediately following service, we will have our um, communion service. Amen. Praise God from <laughs> our blessings flow. May we all stand.
final benediction after communion. Amen? Amen. God bless you as we prepare for communion.